YTPC Padre Piper coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube saying hello YouTube pipe community I hope you are doing well that you're finding all the blessings that the Lord has in store for you and your life I'm doing well in fact I'm doing so well you might say I'm just doing peachy peachy keen in fact peachy that's right you know I started the summer having a top five list and saying that I was going to have several uh, different top five lists that I was going to share with you this summer 2018 and I haven't shared one in a little bit of time so I think it's about time for me to get back on track and today I wanted to share with you my top five peach tobaccos. So some house cleaning I am enjoying today. Let me turn it around so you can see it with the little emblem and everything because it's really I love Stanwell's little emblem this is a Stanwell uh, Rhodesian uh, I believe they call this their sterling line because it's got this little sterling um, silver band right there smokes well takes a nine millimeter filter I prefer to use the Savinelli balsa wood filters in a pipe like this. I just find that um, they do a great job and uh, they don't seem to sort of uh, impact the draw the way some of the other like the charcoal filters in my opinion do. So I'm also enjoying with this pipe you know what that is? Fresca. Now you say wow I haven't seen Fresca since before you were born. <laughs> And that was probably the last time I saw it, maybe before. No, I remember it as a kid. But Fresca back then was a grapefruit drink, a carbonated grapefruit flavored drink. Now, I don't keep up with these kinds of things. So it's possible that this peach citrus Fresca has been around for a long time. But I only found it this summer. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm liking it for all the reasons. I like the flavor of peach, even peach in a tobacco, a pipe tobacco, peach in a pie, peaches all by themselves. This Fresca peach citrus flavored soda, which probably really means it has no real peach in it whatsoever. It is a good summertime cold drink and it goes good with all the peach tobaccos. That I'm going to talk to you about today. Now I'm going to also tell you I normally like black cherry and Fresca has a black cherry version of this drink as well and I don't like it. Don't like it so much. It's it's okay. It just doesn't do for me what this peach flavored drink does and it's got uh, no calories. Uh, I think it's sugar-free. I mean this is you know it's, it's essentially a diet drink. It's carbonated water with a peach flavor but I like it. I like it a lot. So let's get down to business. I've got five peach blends that I want to share with you today. And you know, I went back and looked in the archives of uh, Padre's vast library of YouTube videos. No such thing. Uh, but I do have a few videos out there. And I actually did a top three list of uh, peach tobaccos back in the day. Um, I don't remember exactly when it was. But anyway, this is the updated version. I'm going to give you five, and I'm going to give you some honorable mentions, too, that, let's see, at least one of them you can really, I mean, you may be able to get a hold of it. Good luck. Uh, and one of them I'm going to tell you how you can get a hold of by creating it yourself. And this is not my creation. This was shared with me from a fellow YTPC member. But first, before we get to those honorable mentions, Let's start the list off. We're going to count ourselves down from number five to number one. Maybe I should say that more like a DJ. Counting down the top five peach blends. Starting with number five. Coming in this week on the charts. And I did it backwards. Let me redo my paperwork. If you don't mind. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Number five. Mm. If you would just be so kind as to give me one moment to relight this pipe that's gone out as I've been chatting with you, 
and allow you to smell the room note because I've given you a little bit of house cleaning what the pipe is but I haven't told you the tobacco and the reason is because we're counting down it's probably a good chance boy that's a lot of smoke mmm yeah we're counting down to what I'm smoking eh let's see number five on Padre's top five list of peach blends Sutliff is at the number five spot with a little something they call peaches and cream. And that's a really good name for this particular tobacco. It's a black Cavendish, it's a Burley, it's a Virginia. I'm getting these from the notes on tobaccoreviews.com and it says that it's flavored with cream and peach. That is about as simplistic of a description and about as accurate of a description as one can get. Now, what I will tell you about this is, with peaches and cream, you best be prepared for a very sweet smoke. There's no playing around, because that peach is definitely present. And that, I'm gonna tell you, is the same thing for my number four spot. You better be ready for a syrupy sweet tobacco if you're gonna try this peachy one. And it's a good one. It's perfect after dinner when you're craving something a little sweet comes to us from our good friends in Jackson, Mississippi at the Country Squire Tobacconist, Mr. John David. I think this is one of his creations. And this one's called Summer Breeze. Summer Breeze. This is what it says, a great warm weather tobacco, strong notes of peach and honey. No doubt about that. And it's sweet, folks. Be prepared. Oh, it says, very sweet, syrupy, and aromatic. Now, I don't think it's overly syrupy. I would give it a little bit of drying time but I think you'll be in for a treat. This is this summer breeze. It just lives up to its name. You need to picture yourself sitting out on the back patio, sitting on the front porch, maybe sitting under one of those little umbrellas while you're drinking some iced tea or maybe some of this Fresca peach flavored fizzle drink. This is not product placement. Fresca hasn't paid me. Who is Fresca? Is that, is that a Coke company? I don't know. Don't care. Good stuff. So you get yourself some summer breeze if you really want to try a high quality sweet peach blend from the Country Squire tobacconist. Number three on Padre's list. And this actually comes under two names. So I'm going to tell you the, uh, the, the more common, I guess, or easier way to get this, because I'm not sure if the second name's still available or not, but I'm just going to throw it out there. I haven't done the research on it. Uh, and that is number three is, again, a Sutliff blend, and it's called Peach Cobbler. Peach Cobbler, a wonderful blend. It's a Black Cavendish, Burley, Virginia. It's a coarse cut, and about the only thing that makes it a little bit different from its counterpart that Sutliff also put into a tin and called a taste of summer was that, it, to me anyway, same tobaccos, same flavorings, just a slightly different cut. Not as coarse, more of a ribbony cut when they called it taste of summer. That was part of their private stock collection and I don't know if they're still tinning that and selling it or not, but if you like that flavor and you've had that before, you can get it in bulk from Sutliff as long as you get it under the name Peach Cobbler. Peach Cobbler. What's it say? Peach Cobbler uses select flake cut Virginia smooth, burly, and mildly sweet black Cavendish to form its base with a summer sweet flavor of fresh peaches expertly applied to allow the taste and aroma to come through without being overwhelming. And that would be, I think, the key to this. It's really not all that overwhelming. I think we're going up from a really high cranked up sort of those first two being very sweet, very peachy. Now we're getting into the mid-range of peachiness with Taste of Summer or Peach Cobbler by uh, Sutliff. And now we're getting into, and to tell you the truth, I'm not smoking number one today. I'm actually smoking number two. And I'm enjoying it. And I think you might too. Coming in at number two, if you like a Virginia, a straight Virginia, with just a tad of a casing to it to give it that flavor that you're looking for, in this case, that flavor is peach, you're gonna wanna try Gawith and Hogard's Kendall 
gold peach. Now this is a lot like their, their gold, their straight gold or Kendall gold, straight Virginia, whatever they call that. In fact, it's the same blend. All they've done is topped it with a little bit of a tasty peach flavor and essence to it. Uh, it says, um, well, basically is what it says, a base of Kendall gold topped with peach. Very accurate, simplistic description coming to us from uh, tobaccoreviews.com. So what's nice about that is that straight Virginia, first of all, it burns really well. Secondly, what I like about it, and not a lot of people aren't necessarily fans of this, it's a shag cut. And I think that that packs and burns quite easily. Not everybody agrees. Some people say that tends to make it burn uh, faster and hotter. I think if you uh, take your time and sort of play with it and, and learn the shag and how to, to sort of pack it best for the pipe that you're using and watch your pace, watch your cadence, you're going to get great enjoyment out of the shag cut. I always do. That's one of the reasons I love uh, And So To Bed by Esoterica. That shag cut packs so easily for me, it burns so nicely. You don't want to rush this. It is a straight Virginia. You got to really puff it pretty hard to get it to bite you though. That's what's really good about this one. And if you're looking for that over the top peach flavor, go elsewhere. You're not gonna get it from this particular blend. But if you're looking for, you know that kind of almost citrusy sort of, not overly, I wouldn't say this is as citrusy as say like uh, uh, Golden Sliced by uh, Orlick. But it's there. It's a straight Virginia. It's not going to give you any surprises. It's going to give you those little pops of peach on top. Good stuff. Nice. It comes in bulk. You can get it. It's pretty readily available. I recommend you try it if you're looking for a good summertime blend with a little peach to it. That brings us to number one. Again, I'm smoking number two today, but number one. Uh, and it was kind of a toss up between number one and number two where I was going to put what. I gave this one number one simply because um, it's as good as anything I've talked about so far, but it is um, sim it, it's simplistically good, and it's so readily available, and you can get a big old tub of it and for next to nothing, and it's this stuff right here. Brigadier Black, now they've got a whole series of tobaccos that they've released. And this one's called Gettysburg, and I love the tin art. If you're a tin art person, you'd want to get a collection. You'd want one from each in the uh, Brigadier B uh, Black collection. It is uh, five or six blends, but this Gettysburg has got a peachy flavor and aroma to it. Aroma, aroma, aroma. Oh man, smell that. I wish you could. I, I wish we had smell a vision in the YouTube pipe community. This is just fantastic. Uh, it's a little bit, it comes a little bit on the wet side. Honestly, I opened this up probably a month ago and I have not yet jarred it. And it's doing quite well. It's, you know, it, it had a natural sheen to it anyway. I mean, it's not soaking wet the way, say, a Molto Dolce is, but it comes with enough where you don't really have to worry about the, uh, the, the tin dry. I'm gonna get it in a jar, but um, you'll wanna maybe let it dry out for a few minutes before you smoke it if you're opening the tin for the first time. But it's a flavorful smoke. It's really got a nice peachness about it. Uh, what does uh, tobaccoreviews.com say uh, in the description? It says Gettysburg pipe tobacco is a delightful mixture of Burleys and Virginias with a smooth, subtle peach undertone. It's definitely, it's, it's smooth. I, it's a, probably a hair above subtle. I don't think it's as subtle as this uh, Gowarth and Hogarth, uh, but it's not an in your face either. The tin note is much stronger than the, f the peach flavoring that you're gonna get, but it's there. And the room note is gonna be nice too. Smoke it, leave the room, come back in. You're gonna enjoy it. Um, with almost an oily sheen to each ribbon, this tobacco could command a price three times what PNC offers it at. I would agree with that. It is an extremely inexpensively priced tobacco and don't let that run you off because I'm telling you, it's good stuff. It burns well, it tastes good, it smells good. Now, you know, if you're one of those people who says, I don't normally smoke aromatics, well then don't smoke this. 
if you like aromatics, okay, and you want looking for something, particularly in the summertime, with a peachiness to it, I highly recommend you get yourself some of this Gettysburg. You won't be disappointed. Now, let's do some honorable mentions. Now, if you go back, and I don't remember when it was, it was a long time ago, probably when I first started my channel. I did do a top three peachy uh, keen update or something like, I don't know what I called it. That reminds me to say hello and shout out to the Peachies 13. But anyway, I uh, did my top three back then and my number one is going to get honorable mention. My number one from back then is going to get honorable mention today. That's just because you can't get it. Well, you can if somebody's nice enough to gift it to you. And I've had somebody actually gift me a tin of this, which is wonderful. Uh, you probably get it on the black market for like 500 bucks a tin, which is just absolutely stupid. But uh, this McClellan Palomine, always been a summer favorite of mine since the first time I tried it. I love it. It's spot on for what I'm looking for in a peach uh, tobacco, and it's just something about it. And I think it's just, as much as I used to really, really enjoy it and love it, I think it's a little bit more lovable just because I know it ain't there no more. So a second one I'm going to give honorable mention to uh, only because I've only had one or two, maybe not even two, I've only, only had one bowl. Uh, honorable mention, but I've never been disappointed by what these guys do. I've already said their name once and that's the Country Squire Tobacconist. They have a relatively new, within the past year, released a new peach tobacco called Peach Melba. Uh, again, only had it, I think, once, and I don't want to, you know, give a critique of it. I, it. It was good. Good enough where I'm probably going to get some more of it and, um, you know, not just depend on that one little sample taste that I had of it. But uh, that's one I want to throw out there because some of you may be interested in giving it a shot, too. And then third honorable mention, and this is one that I'm going to give you a chance to make yourself. And uh, I'm going to give some credit and a shout out to YouTube Pipe Community member Byron. His channel is called Burke Devlin 66 I'll put his information down in the cellar. Now here's what you do. Byron was, was attempting, because he's also a Palomine fan, he was attempting to recreate or come up with a match to um, the McClellan Palomine. And he got in the ballpark. I'm going to give him credit for it. He got in the ballpark. It's a good blend that he's got. And I think he's still trying to tweak it. Now, he makes it like 42 tons of it at a time. So he's got to smoke through it before he tries the next. No, I think he makes it like, I don't know, two or three pound batches. But he also sends it out to people. And so thank you, sir, for sending me some. But I don't have his latest... Um, incarnation of this in front of me. So here's what I'm going to do. This is an exclusive for those who watch my channel. Now, if you're watching this a year from now, I probably, this won't be available to you anymore. I'm making it available today. But wait, there's more. I feel like I'm, I'm selling something here. It's absolutely free. This is all you got to do. I have a website. I told you all a while back why I started the website because there's probably coming a day when YouTube is going to say pipe smokers are evil. They have no business talking about this evil thing called tobacco on the virtual airways of YouTube, and they should all go to YouTube jail. They may do that. I don't know. But I have a website, and I'll just keep making videos. So go to my website, PadrePiper.com. That's all you got to do, PadrePiper.com. What you're going to see is a series of links under my big ugly mug, things like home. Instagram, YouTube. Click on the YouTube link, okay? The YouTube link is going to bring you to the YouTube page. Look on the YouTube page. Scroll down. There's a secret on the YouTube page. It's a tiny little peach. If you click on that little secret peach, that's going to bring you to a page that says Peachy Keen. That is what Burke Devlin 66 has entitled his attempt at the recreation of Palomine. It is the current incarnation of that recipe. Easy to get uh, ingredients. 
you can order it, mail order it, online order it. You can get these things and you can mix it up yourself. And you can try some of the different ratios as well. You may want to mix it a little different than his. If you're familiar with Palomine, uh, you can give this a shot. Again, he's in the ballpark. Uh, there's another guy out there who contacted me, and I hope I'm not letting the cat out of the bag on this. Uh, Byron calls his, what did I just say, Peachy Keen. There's a guy out there, the Vintage Piper, and he likes messing around with blends and such too. And he's also working on uh, some uh, Palomine type clones. And if I'm not mistaken, oh man, I hope he doesn't get mad at me. I may have to edit this out. I may have to touch base with him before I publish this. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it. If I have to edit that out later, I'll edit it out. He's calling his clone Gallo Mine. And I kind of like that too. That's pretty cool. Now, I haven't had his, so I can't make any comments on it, but uh, he's hard at work playing around with that. So that's the fun thing, guys. You know, uh, yeah, we can complain about the fact that McClellan went away and the government's doing this and the other thing. Have a little fun with your hobby, though. Don't be afraid to experiment. That's, that's what makes this hobby all that much more fun. And when you come across something you think is pretty good, make a video or post it in a forum somewhere or send it over to me and I'll do like I did with Byron and say, hey, he calls it peachy keen and it really is pretty peachy keen. It's good. It's nice. I enjoy it. He sent me a big old jar of it and I've been enjoying it this summer. I'm going to give you the recipe. Just go to PadrePiper.com. Go to the YouTube page on PadrePiper.com. Look for the little peach. And you see that peach? Click on it. And again, I'm not keeping that up forever. So if it's 2022 and you're watching this video, or even 2019, I've probably taken that down. Too bad. Move on. But for the moment, it's up there, folks, if you want to see his recipe for Peachy Keen. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed... Uh, hearing a little bit about the five, my top five at least, uh, peach tobaccos. You know, peach translates really well in tobacco flavors. It just does. Uh, it, it amazes me that cherry seems to be the kind of quintessential aromatic flavor. Vanilla, of course, as well. Peach, peach does really well translating, folks. I don't know why more people aren't into the, uh, the peach aromatics there good stuff and um, that's my top five I hope you've enjoyed it if you've got some you want to add to it make me a video response or leave me a comment down in the cellar let me know what peach tobaccos you've been enjoying or one that you might recommend that I try and uh, if you like the video give it a like give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber I welcome you to become a subscriber in fact when you do that go click that little bell afterwards is like the little ringing effect, little parentheses around it. That means you're going to get notifications every time I post a ramble. I mean, I post a video in the YTPC. And for all of you who have gone over to that other channel, I, I promised I wasn't going to talk about motorcycles. I promised that to myself today. But for all of you who have already done that and subscribed over there to what's going to end up being my Moto Vlog channel, uh, thank you. And if you if you haven't and you want to. Uh, if you go right now as I'm posting this, there's nothing up there but one little promotional video. But I promise there's going to be some content coming on that. It's currently called the uh, It's currently called Padre Codger. Probably going to change that name. But uh, whatever it's called, you'll find that link down in the cellar if you want to go over there and give it a subscription. And hear me ramble. But hear me do so on two wheels while going. Well, maybe not. Not if I'm on the best, but it's more like. But if I get a Harley. You've had enough of that, haven't you? I better sign off so I can go finish. <laughs> I can go finish my pipe full of this uh, gold peach from. Uh, from <laughs> I've distracted myself. Who who makes this this peach gold or gold peach? It's uh it's Galwith and Hogarth. I'm gonna go finish this pipe of that. I'm gonna finish my fresca as well. Padre Piper signing off and wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessings.